Hello class! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, our topic is all about solving real-life problems involving exponential functions, equations, and inequalities. Okay, so let's have our first example. Daniel deposited 5,000 pesos in an account that offers 6% interest compounded semi-annually. So, how much money is in, in his account at the end of 3 years? Okay, so dito guys, ang problem natin is about compound interest. So, ang formula na gagamitin natin is A equals P times the quantity of 1 plus R over N raised to N times T. Okay, where A is the final amount. Yung P natin dito is yung principal or yung initial amount natin, yung kanyang dineposit. Yung R is the interest rate and N is the number of times interest is compounded in one year. Then yung T is the number of years. Okay? So first, identify muna natin yung mga given natin. Yung 5,000 dito guys, yan yung ating um, principal money or the initial amount. Okay? So in our case, yan yung P natin which is 5,000 pesos. Okay? Then, sabi dito, it offers 6% uh, interest. Yung 6% yan yung ating interest rate. Yung letter R. Okay? So, in decimal, that is uh, 0 0.06. Tama? So, sabi dito, the interest is compounded uh, semi-annually. So, ito yung ating N. Okay, the number of times the interest is compounded in one year. So, sabi dyan, semi-annually, ibig sabihin, uh, dalawang beses. Okay, tandaan, uh, pagka-annually, 1. Pag semi-annually, we have 2. Ang quarterly natin, guys, is 4. Okay, then ang monthly, meron tayong 12. Okay, so since uh, compounded semi-annually tayo, ang N natin is equals to 2. Okay? Then, next is how much money is in his account? So, ang pinapahanap is yung future uh, amount or yung final amount natin, yung A. At the end of 3 years. Okay? So, yung 3 years natin, guys, that is our time. Okay? So, using the formula, yun ng ating compound uh, interest, uh, yung A equals P times the quantity of 1 plus R over N times N raised to uh, N times T. Okay? So, substitute natin guys yung mga na-identify natin given. Una, yung P natin which is 5,000 pesos times the quantity of 1 so that is constant plus R so ang R natin is 0 0.06 over N which is 2 then, raised to n times t. So, ang n natin is 2. Then, ang time natin is 3 years. Okay. So, ito yung isa-solve natin. So, first, divide nyo muna guys yung ating um, 0 0.06 kay 2. Tama? So, that is 5,000. Then, 1 plus. This is 0 0.03. Tama? Then, pwede na, pwede na rin natin i-multiply si 2 and 3. And that is positive 6. Okay, so ngayon solve natin to guys. Uh, 1 plus 0 0.03. That is 1.03. Then raise to 6. So we have 5,000 times 1.03 raised to 6. That is 1.194. Okay, so pag multiply natin si 1.194 sa 5,000. Yan na yung ating final amount which is 5,970.26. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, um, after 3 years, the amount of money in Daniel's account is 5,970.26 na. Okay? So, kung makapansin nyo, tumubo, niyan, tumubo na yung pera niya from 5,000 naging almost 6,000 na. Nakuha, guys? So, let's have another example. So, 
A certain bacteria, so given uh, favorable growth conditions, then sabi dyan, grow continuously at a rate of 5.4% a day. Then we are asked to find the bacterial population after 24 hours. If the initial population was 500 bacteria. Okay, so when you read a problem guys, it's, it suggests growth continuously. Okay, so you should be thinking continu uh, continuously compounded growth formula. So for this situation, ang formula na applicable dito is yung A equals uh, P sub O times E raised to R times T. Okay, so yung A natin dito, ito yung ating uh, population after a certain period. Yung P sub O natin, or P sub 0, that is our initial population. Okay? Then, yung R natin is the rate of change. Then, yung T natin is time. Okay? So, identify natin, guys, yung ating mga given. First, yung ating um, initial population. So, sabi dito, ang ating initial population was 500 bacteria. So, ang P sub O natin is 500. Okay? Next is yung ating um, R, the rate of change. Ano yung rate natin? So, sabi dito, ang rate natin is 5.4% a day. Okay? So, ang 5.4% na yan, that is the same as 0 0.054. Tama? Next is yung ating time. So, ang time natin dito is 24 hours. Okay? But since yung rate natin is naka per day, di ba? Naka per day tayo, dapat i-convert din natin yung ating time in terms of a day. So, ang 24 hours natin, that is equivalent to one day. Okay? So, ngayon ang pinapahanap sa atin, find the bacterial population. Ano yung final bacterial population natin? And that is yung A. Okay? Yung population after a certain period. So, by applying the formula, A is equals to P sub O, which is 500, times E, raised to R times T. So, ang R natin is 0 0.054 times T, which is 1. 1 day. Okay, so, makikita na naman natin guys si E, yung ating exponential sa ating uh, calculator. So, pagka kinumpute niya yan, 500 times E raised to uh, 0 0.054 ang ating population is 527.74 na okay so therefore uh, there will be about 527 or 528 bacteria after 24 hours okay so dumami na yung ating bacteria nakuha guys so, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, naiintindihan nyo guys kung paano ba mag-solve ng ating um, real-life problems that involves um, exponential functions. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs>